Miami Dolphins fans, man, welcome to another post-game rant from your host, Larry K. First of all, if you haven't done so yet, click subscribe. Takes you a millisecond. Hit subscribe. I'll be with you through all the ups and downs. First of all, I'm sorry I wasted my good goddamn time waking up this morning for this piece of shit game that we watched today. I am sorry to all of you that you had the misfortune of watching this crap team once again crap to bed when it mattered. Um, defense played good. We finally got Ramsey back. Uh, Ramsey and X on the same field at the same time. Needham was back. Uh, and you know what? Vic Fangio's proven his worth. Defense did everything they could to win that game. The Chiefs offense only scored 14 points. Uh, but the fact of the matter is this team are frauds. Plain and simple. This is not a, a Super Bowl contending team. That's just a fact. This is the first game I was wrong about in my preseason uh, predictions, but I should have known. This team is not going to beat any of the better teams in the league, especially in prime time, especially when it matters. Um, guys like Tyreek Hill, great numbers, you know, all the time. Puts up numbers when it doesn't matter at 1 p.m. on a random Sunday against a crappy team. Tyreek Hill is never going to win you a big-time game. Uh, the terrible fumble at the end of the first half, which was absolutely killer. That was the actual difference in the game. That fumble was the winning touchdown. Might have been an incomplete pass, but I think it was just a fumble. Tyreek's always trying to get cute, go behind, back up, make a move. Totally lost, and then he dropped a number of balls. That ball on the second-to-last drive just went right through his hands. Mike McDaniel, uh, pretty bad showing. Uh, just inopportune play calls at the wrong times. You know, we have Mostert going, putting the team on his back, and he has to switch back to Ahmed on a crappy outside run that loses us yards. Uh, but then the, the team on offense in general, the, this is just not a team of championship caliber winners. You know, in the offseason, we need to go out and we need to get guys who want to win, who care about winning, who take losses hard. Um, the Kansas City Chiefs got on the plane on Thursday and made it out to Frankfurt, and they were all business. The Miami Dolphins with coach Mike McDaniel, they went out to Frankfurt early. They had fun. They enjoyed themselves, and it showed. Um, just no sense of urgency, no killer instinct, just absolutely terrible. The defense played good. Maybe Vic Fangio has him ready, but Mike McDaniel is a softy, and he doesn't have his guys motivated. He's not ready to go up against the upper echelon coaches. I don't know that he ever will be. Um, the, the, the end of the game, just an absolute embarrassment, drives home why this team will never be a contender. How do you go? Tua, I thought he had a pretty good game, honestly. I thought most of the game, it wasn't his fault. He was putting the ball in positions where it should have been caught and receivers were just dropping the ball. Uh, the line was, you know, hit or miss. But Tua, at that last, on the last drive, Wilson was streaking down the field open. I don't know what in God's name that absolute shit little lob was. I don't know what it was for. And then, of course, they screw up the snap on fourth down because they're frauds, okay? The Miami Dolphins are not winning a goddamn thing this year. They're going to be a first-round exit from the playoffs. That is what it is, but it's nothing new. They're not going anywhere. This is the same Dolphins team we've always known, and it starts at the top with Steven Ross. I've been telling you. I was wrong about Tua. I think Tua's a pretty good player, but then again... He tossed up a complete dud towards the end of the game, which would have been a touchdown, and he fumbled a snap again. So maybe he ain't it either. But these guys are just, this is a regular season team. This is a team that'll, you know, win 10, 11 games, get to the postseason, and then lose in the postseason. There are just better teams out there. Baltimore is better than them. Uh, I think the Jets beat them on Black Friday. I don't see any way why the Jets don't beat them on Black Friday. Jets now tied for the division lead. They're going to win tomorrow night. Um, and they're tied with us. So the division, I, I don't, maybe we sneak out the division, but even if we do, we're going to be a lower seed because we're not going to be one of the higher upper echelon division winners. Um, but at the end of the day, guys, like this is why I'm not around in the off season very much. Cause it's just, I, it's hard to get excited about this franchise. This franchise will always let you down. This is not a winning, like this isn't a championship caliber franchise. You can get your little wins here and there, just like we did with Gase. You can do those things, but that's all you can do. 
Uh, the, the positives, like they put Jalen Ramsey on Travis Kelsey. He absolutely shut him down. You didn't hear Kelsey's name at all, which was awesome. Uh, maybe three, four catches. That was a good defensive game plan. I mean, at the end of the day, Bradley Chubb is coming on. Um, so I don't want to. I don't want to say we're going to lose every other game, right? Like we're going to win a bunch of games because the defense is going to be okay and the offense is going to put up numbers when it doesn't mean anything, right? But we've got games against Dallas. We've got a, a primetime game against the Jets on the road. We've got a game against Baltimore. Um, we got another game against the Bills. And then maybe, if we're lucky, the playoffs. And we're not going to show up to any of those games, right? This is a show-me season. Show-me season. And the Dolphins have shown me that they are 0-3 against every over 500 decent team in this league. The Dolphins, if there's an upper echelon of playoff teams, the Dolphins are at the very bottom of that list, right? They have absolutely no chance of contending beyond that. So it's just a waste of time. Like we can watch them, we can cheer, we can have some fun Sundays, but forget any kind of Super Bowl talk, forget championship talk, forget even winning the division. Like, cause these guys are not championship players, okay? Tyreek Hill won a championship with the Chiefs, but it wasn't because he was clutch, okay? He left and they still won a championship. Those teams, those players, those coaches, they have the mentality to win. Mike McDaniel wants to be everybody's friend. After the game, he's dapping guys like so hyped on the Chiefs. Like, yeah, man, great to see you. Awesome. Enjoy. He's living his best life, Mike McDaniel, right? Getting paid millions of dollars. He's a celebrity. He gets to live in the beautiful South Florida. He gets all the upper echelon, you know, praise in the world. When he gets fired as head coach, which will be in a year or two, when he gets fired, he will be an offensive coordinator shoo-in, and hopefully he'll be with a better head coach who will get him to the championship. Uh, but Mike McDaniel at this point is not much different than Mike McDaniels, okay, from the Raiders. He's not a winner. He will never be a winner. He's an okay offensive coordinator. He's not a motivator. He's not a leader of men. He never will be, okay? Tua, decent player, pretty good quarterback, not an MVP. You don't miss that throw at the end. You don't fumble a snap. And he played pretty good all, all game, but that cost him, okay? Tyreek Hill, great numbers, great wideout, not a clutch player. Not a championship player. This was against his former team. He pretty much looked like a clown. So, end of the day, guys, if you're a Dolphins fan, you're wasting your time. That's all there is to it. Fraud team. This team is a fraud team. Frauds. That's what I got to say. It's another year of the same stuff. This window is closing. Whatever window we had, which wasn't even really a window because we're never really contenders in the first place. But, you know, these guys are going to come up for their contracts. This team's going to get dismantled. Um, and here we are. So another wasted Sunday for, for Dolphins fans. Another wasted season for Dolphins fans. And we continue to embarrass ourselves on the national stage and actual teams with actual championship caliber beat us. And our clown stars like Tyreek Hill fumbles a ball to create the game-winning touchdown. And our star quarterback throws an absolute flub on a wide-open touchdown and then fumbles a snap. And our absolute clown of a coach is out-coached in the clutch once again. Because this team are frauds. And this franchise is a fraud. And it starts with Stephen Ross, the nerd to end all nerds. Until he sells the team and we get an actual leader of men as the head coach, we're never going to go anywhere with this squad. So have a nice long flight back from Germany, Dolphins. Have your uh, bye week. Enjoy yourselves and come back and beat the Raiders and then lose to the Jets because we already know how this story ends. Absolute waste of my time. Absolute waste of excitement. Absolute slap in the face to the fans. This team is a bunch of frauds, and they will always be a bunch of frauds. Uh, defense, good showing. We'll have other good days. We may make the playoffs. We are not going anywhere. Fraud-ass team. Show me season. They've shown me. 0 for 3 in the big games. Frauds. That's all I got to say. Hit subscribe if you haven't done so yet. Uh, join the misery with me. <laughs> this is a waste of time to be a Dolphins fan. It's been a waste of time for 30 years. Um... Other than that, I'll be on on Tuesday at 7 to talk more junk. And that's going to be it for me. I'm taking the bye week off because I have no interest in following this team any more than I have to. So, uh, fins down and see you guys later.